Hey guys, it's me, Life Simmer. Welcome to part 28. The microphone thing happened again, so this is a voiceover part. Anywho, I built the new house, as you guys can see. It's right by the beach, and there's so much work that I actually want to do to it that's, you know, it's kind of crazy. Um, but as you can see, we have kind of like an orangish orangish house that I actually want to change the colors to like a yellow but it's really really pretty I love the little fountain out front I think that's my favorite part of the house but it's not done yet for those wondering how I built the house I did do the genie thing so for those who are wondering how I got the money um, but it's not done yet I still have so much work that I want to do to it it's kind of crazy so here's like the area like the grand foyer of this house this house it's uh, Chris Michaela and Lola and Angelo and then over there is Jeremiah and Lucia's house and the new incoming baby who will be born this part so yeah uh, basically I'll be showing you guys around the house here's the grand foyer yeah <laughs> the grand foyer yeah yeah formal yeah yeah <laughs> And then over here is the living room. Still has a lot of work to be done, but this huge freaking TV um, that somebody gifted to me in the Sims 3 store. Chris J 83 to be exact. And, um, yeah. And here's the bathroom. I love it. It has a very high-end loft theme. And you'll notice these statues around the house a lot. Yeah. <laughs> And then we'll be going into Lola's room, which is my favorite room in the house. It's freaking gorgeous. I love, love, love it. And um, I think my favorite part of this room is um, that little wall stencil on the left. I'll show it to you guys in a sec. I just, I don't know why I like it so much. I just really love it. I love the flower decals, but I love that freaking wall stencil. It's just a pop of color. I love it so, so much. I don't know why. <laughs> I just really like it. It goes with the room a little too well. Um, and then we had in here, this is the kitchen and mini dining room. I added the little sushi table that somebody gifted to me on the Sims 3 store. You guys see another statue. Um, yeah, it has a very modern theme. And it has a little Takamiki thingy station right there, which is nice to have. Because you can make some cool dishes. Mm -hmm -hmm. <laughs> And yeah, it's just very simple. Oh, and I also added a deep fryer because you guys know I always add those if you watch my Supernatural Let's Play. In here, we just have a random room that I need to finish. Uh, this is Chris Michaela's room right here. Very dark. Scary. <laughs> and then this is Angela's room. I love it so much. And a lot of you guys actually want to make him gay. And I'm totally okay with that. And I think it would be a lot of fun. I added some snowboards to his wall, which I thought was really cool because you can hang them up and use them. I love his room. So pretty. Um, so yeah, that's Angelo's room. He has his own bathroom. And so doesn't Chris and Michaela. Which they have like a little China theme in their bathroom. I love it. So cute. Alrighty, so let's head over to Jeremiah and Lucia's house, which is has a lot of work to be done to it. Um, but whatever, we'll eventually get to it. You know, holla. <laughs> So, in their house, they have this little dining room that has a lot of work to be done to it, but, you know, we'll, we'll do it. They also have a very modern theme, and I added in that little station thingy right there as well. And downstairs is Lucia and Jeremiah's bedroom. I thought it'd be different for it to be downstairs instead of upstairs. And they have their own little bathroom. Upstairs is a guest room, because I don't know how many kids they're going to have. And the empty nursery, because I don't know the gender yet. And another statue in the beautiful, beautiful bathroom. I love the bathrooms in this house. I, I love the bathrooms. I just think they're adorable. And then I'll front the fountain thing. I just love it so much. I don't know why. I just love it. And the little wheel, wheel barrow right there. I think it's freaking adorable. I love it. So yeah, there's so much work to be done. And then the pool out back. It's um, it's just a pool. And then the beach. The beach. We're right by the beach. And for those who are wondering what lot we live on, uh, it's like right by the coffee house and like right there on the map. So yeah, I love the house and I hope you guys love it. Still a lot of work to be done, but you know, we'll eventually get to it. <laughs> 
So she looks like she's going to have that kid any day now. She'll have it this part. And yeah, yeah. Because I already know what's going on. <laughs> because I already played this and then the microphone messed up. And I was like, are you serious? Are you serious? So yeah, now I have to do a voiceover, which voiceovers kill me because I'm always so awkward. <laughs> that was a yawn. Alrighty, so you'll notice this really, really freaking annoying sequence where, okay, in a few minutes, you'll notice that Angelo keeps trying to sneak out of the house and like everybody keeps stopping him. You'll see. Alrighty, so I wanted Michaela to actually test this out, so she's going to do a onion trick. Okay, right there in the back. You see Angelo trying to leave? What the heck? He's trying to go to school. So, yeah, she was doing, like, these cool little things. Um, okay, see? He's trying to leave. Let him leave. Seriously? Go to school. And she's doing, like, this little onion trick. Yeah. I thought it looked kind of funny. She was just, you know, looking funny. <laughs> So yeah, it's really, really cool. She sets stuff on fire, and I love it. See? Look at that. That's so freaking cool. Love it. I don't know why I like it so much. I just do. So then I had her make some Takanapi fried rice uh, for breakfast, because, you know, all right. So yeah, he's still not at school, FYI, because you'll see him creeping around in the background. It's kind of creepy. So yeah, I kept trying over and over, and it was just like... You serious? You serious? So, it was just a hassle. I eventually got him to school. But I love that little table thingy that came in that set. I freaking, oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> I'll have the microphone fixed by the next part. I was just like, are you serious? Oh, and then the bus left. But I taught him how to drive, so thank goodness he could have drove, you know, he drove, because, yeah, <laughs> Lucy and her little tummy, but the station, I think this is definitely worth it, it's just very different, it adds new interactions to your gameplay, and it's freaking adorable, so thank you so much, I love it, <laughs> I, I love it, I love it, love it a little bit too much, it's actually kind of creepy, um, so yeah, I just had everybody eat some food, and Angel finally got to school, Finally got to school. <laughs> Lucia is about to have a baby. Yay. I don't know how many children she's going to have, to be honest with you. I think at most she'll have two. Because, you know, I don't know. So if Lola eventually gets married and has has kids and stuff, I don't know what we're going to do. We'll just have to see. Time will tell. But uh, Lucia, I see you having one to two kids. I don't see her having any more than that but if we make Angelo gay then Angel will find his lover and probably move in with him and we'll make room then we'll just have to wait and see because Angel just turned a teenager um, I also saved all their graduation things and like pictures and stuff from the old house so those will eventually hang up somewhere probably in the foyer the grand foyer of this house so yeah look at her checking herself out like mm, I'm hot <laughs> Yes, you are, Lola. Yes, you are. Well, that was kind of creepy. Wait, that was really creepy. But, um, yeah. I had Lucia go ahead and jump in this bathtub because I freaking love it. Look at it. I love it. It's from High End Loft Stuff from The Sims 3. It's a stuff pack, and it's just... I love it. I love High End Loft Stuff. You'll notice, notice it a lot around the house. If you have high-end loft stuff, you see it, like, everywhere in this house. I just, I love it. <laughs> so, I want to go ahead and show you guys Jeremiah playing video games on the big TV. You know, we had some technical difficulties, you know. Yeah. Like, it just wouldn't show up on the TV. I'm like, uh, what? So, <laughs> I eventually got it to work, and, uh... Because he, you know, I was like, how, how are you playing that? That's not how video games work. <laughs> so, yeah, now he's playing NFL. You know, how cool is that? I like that. I like it on the big TV. Sounds wrong. Sounds really wrong. 
Anyways, <laughs> I like how they're right over the beach. I think it's absolutely stunningly stunning, stunningly stunning. <laughs> and I like how, like, right there is, like, the center, like, of operations. Like, everybody's going to stand by the fountain and stuff and, like, do work. Wait, when did we even buy a laptop? Anywho. <laughs> I said I, I like how they, like, go into each other's houses and, like, just do whatever they want. Because technically, to them, it's all still one big house. Yeah. <laughs> Who cares about Wiggles? It just said Lola is losing relationship with Wiggles. Who cares? So yeah, Angelo got grounded because he went to school. Oh my gosh. It's bad boy. And Chris got a promotion to city council member. And he got some actually good money. He makes 73 simoleons an hour now. And he got a bonus of like 555 simoleons or something like that. Michaela's, you know, not doing too well. <laughs> so yeah, everybody's doing pretty good in their jobs, to be honest with you. Uh, we need to get some more promotions, though. Because, I mean, come on. Yeah. Oh, and now he has the funding option where we can um, throw funding parties. So we might just have to throw one. Um, I think that'd be kind of fun. Maybe like a housewarming party could kind of be like that, you know? Throw a funding party because we can't have a housewarming party. And the next time I can summon the genie won't be until later tonight. So we'll definitely have to try to get more money out of her so we can finish this house. Because um, I really want more money. I want more money. I don't even know if you can do that. Can you order the two same wishes? I don't think you can, which kind of sucks. La di da di da. This is 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 sucks. Um. Ah. So they keep sleeping in the wrong beds, which is kind of annoying me, you know, because they don't know which bed is which yet, you know. kind of annoying. <laughs> Ignore that. Ignore that. <laughs> Alrighty, so we went ahead and checked the weather. And you know what I found kind of interesting? Is it's going to be snowing a lot. Well, not a lot, but two days this week, it's going to be snowing on Saturday and Monday. Yeah. Which, you know, winter is coming, so that's pretty exciting. Hopefully we'll get some heavy snow so we can build some snowmen and stuff and do all that great stuff that we did last um, winter. It's kind of crazy to think this is our second winter. Hmm. So I made her make some tapenaki flamme, flamme mignon. <laughs> I know I said that wrong. Um, so yeah, she doesn't have enough skill to make other stuff quite yet, so I just made her make the most expensive meal that she can cook. I just love this little thing, like... I'm going to use it all the time. Because there's like a restaurant by my house who does stuff like this. And I think it's the freaking coolest thing ever. I love it. Um, like the chef guy, he like takes the shrimp and he cuts the tails off the shrimp and he flips them into his hat. It's really cool. It's really cool. And you'll just see like little random little Angelo running around, you know, like a burglar because he's afraid he's going to get in trouble. <laughs> the baby is coming. Make sure Lucia is at the hospital or have a home birth. I said, you know what? We're going to have a home birth. If you notice, we need to get some lights. We'll get some. But I was like, you know what? We're going to have a home birth. Yeah, that's right. A home birth. And it was also Michaela's birthday. So I kind of scrolled over so you could see both of them. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty sad. Yeah, you can see both of them. <laughs> so yeah, she looked like a crazy woman. She looks crazy. Crazy. <laughs> she looks nuts. Like when you guys see her, you'll be like, is, is that Michaela? Is that Michaela? You'll see her in a second. So yeah, Lucia is about to have this baby and you know, she actually had this baby a lot faster than I thought she was going to have her. Oh, here comes Michaela. Yeah, she looks, yep, that's her. <laughs> crazy looking. I like how everybody leaves. 
<laughs> and it was a baby boy. I didn't know what to name him. I really didn't know. And also we got to pick his two traits, which was good. So I decided to name him like a random name, Robert. I couldn't think of any freaking name at all. And I just, I, Robert came to mind. So I'm like, all right, his name is Robert. <laughs> We'll name him Robbie and Rob for short. <laughs> he hates the outdoors, but he loves the cold. So I guess, I don't know how those will go well together, but anyways. So yeah, now we have a baby boy. So I needed to go ahead and uh, fix the nursery up and also give Michaela a new appearance because that woman looked so crazy. Oh, and look at that. Lola's floating. She looked so crazy that she didn't look like she just didn't belong like look at her in her feety pajamas she did not belong so you guys will see that I'm giving her a makeover <laughs> Okay, and I just gave her her little makeover. She looks like her age. I didn't want to make her look like an an old woman trying to be young. Because those type of ladies, mm, I want to hit them. But anyways, here's the nursery. Well, I wouldn't want to hit them, but... Anyways, <laughs> here's the nursery. Okay, so <laughs> that was the nursery, and you know, everybody's kind of just chilling, and you know, I was sending everybody to bed because their sleeping patterns are all messed up, <laughs> because they didn't know whose bed was whose, and in my head, I built them all personalized bedrooms to things that they like, so I had to make them sleep in the correct beds. Yeah. So, I don't know why, but have you guys noticed, like, when you're on the first story, you see people on the second story. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't even know why it does that. But it's kind of funny to look at, so I'm okay with it. <laughs> it's really funny to look at, actually. Alrighty, guys. And in the next part, it will be Spooky Day, which is so exciting. Because um, it's another Spooky Day. So I guess Angelo's going trick-or-treating. <laughs> Alrighty, so in the next part, we will explore Spooky Day. In the next part, it will not be a voiceover, or else I will shoot my microphone and throw it in the pool. So yeah, <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next part. And um, Oh, and then we might have a feast party as well. So yeah, don't forget to thumbs this video up, and don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget I love you guys. And thank you guys for almost 11,000 subscribers. That's a freaking lot of people. Bye, guys. Oh. Okay, yeah, bye. <laughs>